The battle of the video bands continues. Keep watching to see which band survives the next cut on the MTV Basement Tapes. Last month, the calls came pouring in, and finally Martha Quinn announced the first of six winners. The winner is from Boston, Massachusetts, Digny Bigness. She's a girl in the curious hand. The band won $5,000 worth of Yamaha equipment and the first slot in the video finals. This Wednesday night, see six new videos compete for the next slot. Call our special 900 number and vote for the one you like best. That band will join Digby Fitness in the finals for a shot at the grand prize, an EMI America recording contract, a new video, and a choice of $25,000 worth of equipment from Yamaha. The MTV Basement Tapes. Watch and vote. Wednesday night, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. Only on MTV Music Television. It takes a long time and a lot of hard work for a band to put it all together. It's a long haul to the top. Practice, rehearsals, bad breaks, smoke-filled dives, and a thousand club dates. Only one in a million gets that big break. A chance to sign with a major record label. So when a shot at the top knocks at your door, you jump at it. The MTV Basement Tapes, where unknowns compete for a major recording contract and a crack at stardom. Who has what it takes to win? You be the judge. Hi, I'm Martha Quinn. Last month, a brand new series of Basement Tapes competitions kicked off here on MTV. Just five months from tonight, one unsigned band will get the big prize. A recording contract, a new video, thousands of dollars worth of equipment, and the same nationwide attention that's been given to Rail, the winners of our first round of Basement Tapes competitions. Who makes it to the finals all depends on your vote here tonight. We have got videos from six unsigned bands. After you see them, you can phone in your vote for the group you think should go on to the finals in April. The band that wins tonight gets a great prize, a choice of $5,000 worth of equipment from Yamaha and a chance to compete in the finals for the grand prize, a recording contract and a new video from EMI America Records and a choice of $25,000 worth of equipment from Yamaha. Some of this equipment that you see here they could take, or they might even get a new saxophone like this one. So somehow it doesn't sound right to me, but maybe somebody around here can get it to work. A new saxophone like this one. The six videos that you will see here tonight were chosen last month by a panel of video music experts, including journalists, record company executives, and musicians. In fact, three members of the Gang of Four were on this month's panel. They reviewed videos sent in from all parts of the United States and Canada, and they chose these six bands to compete tonight. From Rochester, New York, the Chesterfield Kings. From San Diego, California, Swanky Modes. From Santa Cruz, California, Eddie and the Tide. From New York City, T. Venus. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, Chameleon. And from Toronto, Canada, Ed Como. Now these are the bands trying for that second slot in the Basement Tapes Finals and the 5,000 bucks worth of Yamaha equipment. The band that gets it is going to be the band that you vote for when we give you the phone numbers at the end of the show. So it all depends on your votes. Now, I'm going to start off tonight with a band from Rochester, New York, one of the favorite garage bands from up there, the Chesterfield Kings. These guys have really dedicated themselves to keeping alive the sounds of 60s bands like the Blues Magoos, the Standells, and their favorites, the early Rolling Stones. Since they first got together in 1979, they have become regulars on the East Coast club circuit, including playing pe places like the Peppermint Lounge in New York City, Right here, we're going to take a look at the Chesterfield Kings with a song called 99th Floor. When I began to realize that you had me no 
Well, that was the Chesterfield Kings with their updated version of 99th Floor. It really shows us what videos were like back in the 60s with go-go boots and all the whole works in that video. You know, that song was actually written in the 60s, in 1966, by Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top, because Billy at the time was playing guitar with a band called The Moving Sidewalks. I'm going to move on to our second band. They're from San Diego, California. They call themselves swanky modes. They're a pair of musicians with real impressive backgrounds. For instance, lead vocalist Honey Bee Divine has played in the Bonnie Bramlett Band with Dr. John and with Girls School. Now, guitarist Peter Gorham is originally from England, and he began his career playing in the Equals with Eddie Grant. The two of them met in England, where they were in a group called the Razzy Dazzy Spasm Band. Recently, they have moved back to Honey's native state of California to make their fortune and this video. Let's see what you think. Swanky Modes with a song called Teeny Men. Now, that is Swanky Modes from San Diego, California. Okay, to continue on tonight, we have four more bands for you to look at, and that happens right after this. Schlitz rocks America with ZZ Top on the Eliminator Tour. It's got me on the pressure. 
ZZ Top who make great American music from the guys who make Schlitz a great American beer. Schlitz rocks America. fragrance for men, Jordache fragrance for women, because love is all you need. I'm Martha Quinn, and we are back with the MTV Basement Tapes. I hope you saw the first two videos, and now I'm going to show you the third band. They're from Santa Cruz, California, Eddie and the Tide, and we have their video called Running Wild, Running Free, which incidentally, the band has dedicated this song to the working man. Eddie and the Tide is led by songwriter Eddie Rice, and five years ago, Eddie and drummer Scott Mason packed all their belongings into a Volkswagen, left Nashville, Tennessee, and headed out to the West Coast, where they later on formed the band. Now, for this video, it was 104 degrees outside when they shot Running Wild, Running Free, and that's why they chose to do it in here. Driving in the hot summer sun.
you know, it actually took me a while watching that video before I realized that the instruments that they were playing were actually made of ice. Maybe those guys could really use the $5,000 worth of Yamaha equipment. Anyway, that was Eddie and the Tide with Running Wild, Running Free. Our fourth competitor tonight is from New York City called T. Venus. Julia Hayward is the leader of this band, and she is both a singer and a video artist who has done her own full-length video disc. And Julia also co-produced the Burning Down the House video that we see all the time here on MTV for the Talking Heads. The other musicians in TV Venus have worked with some New York bands like the Ray Beats, the Contortions, and the Eight-Eyed Spy. So let's get on with it. This is T. Venus with a song called Dragging the Bottom.
that video from TV is called Dragging the Bottom. We're here on the MTV Basement Tapes where we still have a couple of strong contenders left and we will be back with those contenders right after this. Schlitz rocks America with ZZ Top and the Eliminator Tour. American music from the guys who make Schlitz a great American beer. So eat yourself. Schlitz rocks America. Jordache fragrance for men, Jordache fragrance for women, because love is all you need. Mm. I've seen hot tubs before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't help it. Who does he know? Just kidding. You can save her in Atari Jungle Hunt, just like the arcade classic. <laughs> Fight man eating crocodiles. <laughs> Dodge deadly boulders. Oh, wouldn't you rather order a... Outsmart hungry headhunters. I know a great little Italian place. <laughs> Hi, Jungle Hunt. Please. Please. Jungle Hunt. New from Atari. <laughs> All right, we're back with the MTV Basement Tapes tonight. You've seen four bands. We have two to go. But you know, if you are in a band watching tonight, you might want to find out how you can enter your video in the MTV Basement Tapes competition. So let me show you this address that you can write to for information and an application form. Uh, MTV Basement Tapes, 1133 Avenue of the Americas, New York, New York, 10036. Now we're going to get back to the battle of the video bands. Next band from Minneapolis, Minnesota. These guys are called Chameleon. Now they have been together since 1978, and they've been playing clubs and concerts in the Midwest ever since then. Now in 1981, these guys released an album on a small local label that was so popular in Minneapolis, it actually outsold the Rolling Stones' Tattoo You album in local record stores. Pretty impressive stuff. So we're going to see the video right here from Chameleon called Little Sister.
That's Chameleon from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Quick, here's a trivia question. What TV show is from Minneapolis? Anybody remember? The Mary Tyler Moore Show is from Minneapolis. Second hometown was Chameleon, and that was their video called Little Sister. Now, at the end of that video, you can see one of the highlights of Chameleon's live show. The drums are mounted on a platform that actually turns upside down and the drummer is strapped into a seat and he keeps on playing while the whole thing spins around. Now remember, these guys are trained professionals and this should not be done at home. We're going to go on to our sixth and final competitor tonight. Our first entry from outside of the United States, Ed Como from Toronto, Canada. For the past six years, Ed's been a keyboardist in Krista Berg's band, touring the whole world and playing to audiences as large as 85,000 people. Before joining up with DeBerg, Ed spent a lot of nights playing pianos in one local bar after another. Ed considers the video you're about to see, he's, he calls it state of the basement art, since he recorded both the music and the video on his own home equipment. So right here, let's take a look at Ed Como with a song called Comatose Man.
Yeah. I don't know what I could say here that you haven't already said to yourself. That is Ed Como, a comatose man. The last of our six videos for tonight's edition of the MTV Basement Tapes competition. Now, right here, I'm going to give you one more look at each video. You might want to have a pencil because I'm going to show you a special 900 phone number for each band. All the numbers will be the same except for the last digit. So you dial the number for the band you think most deserves a shot at a recording contract with EMI America Records. Now, no matter where in the country you're calling from, Ossining, New Yorker, Los Angeles, California, the phone company will only charge you 50 cents for that call. Now, here's one more look at each of the bands.